Assalamualaikum everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Annyeong haseyo. Konnichiwa. Sawadi ka. Mabuhay. Welcome back to Solo Channel. Today we are going to learn Unit 4 Learning World using English Plus 1 Year 5 page 44. Pada hari ini kita akan belajar unit keempat dunia pembelajaran menggunakan buku murid English Plus 1 tahun 5 muka surat 44. These are the objectives in today's session. Activity 1. Please open your English Plus 1 student's book year 5, page 44. Sila buka buku murid English Plus 1 tahun 5 muka surat 44. Read the project. Where are the schools? Is the writer positive or negative about them? Sila baca projek ini. Di manakah sekolah-sekolah ini berada? Adakah penulis berpandangan positif ataupun negatif mengenai sekolah-sekolah ini? Selamat mendengar dan membaca. World Class A project by Liam Murphy This is a geography class in Bangladesh. The students are studying on a boat school. It's a great idea because transport can be a big problem here when there's a lot of rain. The boat isn't moving at the moment, but at the start and end of the day, it goes along the river to the students' villages. Eton College is one of Britain's oldest and most expensive private schools, and it looks like the students are wearing Britain's oldest, most expensive uniforms. Not very practical. They're walking to a lesson. This is a boarding school. Students study, eat and sleep here. These students in a Chinese primary school aren't sleeping. They're having a break from their maths class and they're doing eye exercises. It's important to relax your eyes when you're studying and students in China do these exercises twice a day. This is my secondary school in Ireland. We're having a dance class and it's a lot of fun. There are a lot of traditional dances in Ireland. I'm not dancing. I'm watching the dancers. Our teachers are playing the musical instruments. All right, you can get this worksheet from Teacher Fira Blogspot. Kamu boleh dapatkan lembaran kerja ini di dalam Blogspot Teacher Fira. But if you can print out, it's okay. Tapi jika kamu tidak boleh cetak, tidak mengapa, you can copy this exercise in your exercise book and complete it. Kamu boleh salin latihan ini dalam buku tulis kamu, kemudian lengkapkan. Pause this video to complete this task. Perhatikan video untuk siapkan tugasan ini. Answer. Jawapan. Let's read together. Jom kita baca bersama. Boat school. Place. Bangladesh. Positive points. Eton College. Place, Britain. Negative points. Chinese Primary School. Place, China. Positive points. And the last one, Island Secondary School. Place, Island. Positive points. Activity 2. Students Book, page 44. Buku Murid Muka Surah 44. Read the project again and answer the questions. Sila baca projek tadi sekali lagi, kemudian jawab soalan-soalan ini. 1. When is transport a problem in Bangladesh? Bilakah pengangkutan menjadi satu masalah di Bangladesh? 2. What is a boarding school? Apakah maksud sekolah? Berasrama penuh. 3. How often do Chinese students exercise their eyes? Berapa kerapkah murid-murid Cina, murid-murid di Cina melakukan latihan mata mereka? Pause this video to complete this task. Berhentikan video untuk siapkan tugasan ini. Oh ya, yeah. seperti biasa dapatkan lembaran kerja ini di dalam blog spot Tia Atau kamu boleh salin di dalam buku tulis dan lengkapkan. Answer. Jawapan. Please read with me. Sila baca bersama saya tau. 1. Transport is a big problem in Bangladesh when there is a lot of rain. Pengangkutan menjadi satu masalah besar di Bangladesh apabila hujan terlalu banyak. 2. 
A boarding school is a school where students study, eat and sleep. Sekolah berasrama penuh adalah satu sekolah yang mana murid-murid belajar, makan dan juga tidur. 3. Chinese students exercise their eyes twice a day. Murid-murid Cina atau murid-murid di China melakukan latihan mata dua kali dalam sehari. Activity 3, Students Book, page 44, Buku Murid Muka Surat 44. Use a dictionary to check the meaning of the words in blue in the text. Sila guna kamus untuk semak maksud perkataan-perkataan berwarna biru di dalam petikan. Seperti biasa, dapatkan lembaran kerja ini di dalam blog Spot TJ Fira ataupun kamu boleh salin di dalam buku tulis kemudian lengkapkan. Aha, don't forget, you have to write the meanings of the words. Jangan lupa, kamu perlu tulis maksud-maksud perkataan berwarna biru di dalam petikan. Pause this video to complete this task. Berhentikan video untuk siapkan tugasan ini. Answer. Jawapan. Please read with me. Sila baca bersama saya. 1. Boat school. A boat purposely built as a school to provide education. Sekolah boat. Sekolah boat bermaksud boat yang dibina untuk dijadikan sekolah untuk menyediakan pendidikan. 2. Private school. Sekolah persendirian. It means ia bermaksud an independent school supported wholly by the payment of fees. Sekolah persendirian bermaksud sebuah sekolah yang ditanggung sepenuhnya oleh bayaran yuran-yuran. 3. Boarding school. Sekolah berasrama penuh. Boarding school is a school which provides accommodation and meals for the pupils during term time. Sekolah bersama penuh adalah sebuah sekolah yang menyediakan penginapan dan makanan kepada murid-murid. 4. Primary school is a school for children between the ages of 7 until 12. Sekolah rendah adalah sekolah untuk kanak-kanak berumur 7 sehingga 12 tahun. 5. Secondary school is a school for children between the ages of about 13 until 18. Secondary school bermaksud sekolah menengah. Ianya adalah sekolah untuk kanak-kanak berumur 13 sehingga 18 tahun. Activity 4, Students Book, page 44, Buka Murid Muka Surat 44. Get this worksheet from Teacher Fira Blogspot or copy this in your exercise book. Dapatkan lembaran kerja ini daripada Blogspot Teacher Fira atau seperti biasa salin di dalam buku tulis kamu. Choose one school that you think the most interesting and explain why. Then, write the type of school that you go to. Sila pilih satu sekolah yang kamu rasa paling menarik dan jelaskan mengapa sekolah tersebut paling menarik. Kemudian, tulis jenis sekolah yang kamu pergi. Well, you can refer my answer as reference. Kamu boleh jadikan jawapan saya sebagai rujukan kamu. And for your final answer, please refer to your teacher for further checking. Dan untuk jawapan kamu, sila rujuk guru kamu sendiri untuk semakan. My answer, jawapan saya. I think the most interesting school is boat school. It is because I have never attended such school before. In my opinion, I would love to learn in an open space with green scenery. Besides, I love being on water so much. As it gives calm environment, I am sure I can learn in more conducive, exciting and adventurous way through such school and hence makes boat school the most interesting school. Type of school that I go to is an ordinary secondary school. Oh yeah, for your information, I really love my secondary school. Well, thanks God, I managed to get 9 A's in my SPM and excel in sports because I love sports too. Alright, well done everyone for your great effort today. I hope you have lots of fun learning with me as much as I have lots of fun teaching you guys. Don't forget, subscribe solo channel. 
Press the bell, ding dong, for the latest videos from my channel. And please share my channel with your friends too. And don't forget, support Teacher YouTubers Facebook group and also Teacher Fira Blogspot. Thank you very much for watching my video. Kamsameta arigato gozaimasu. Kapkun ka? Salamat. Shie shie ni. See you in the next video. Jumpa lagi di video akan datang. Bye. I love you all. Annyeong.